DePaul and Creighton over at Allstate Arena. Blue Demons looking for their first Big East win of the season. They got off to a good start. Tommy Hamilton, the fourth, knocks down a three, putting DePaul up 17-13. Then on the other end, Brandon Young prevents a Creighton layup. In transition, Young dishes off to Dewan Marrero. Blue Demons up 23-21 with seven minutes to go in the first half. Now with the Blue Demons down by five, it's Brandon Young burying a triple from the top of the key. He had a game-high 24 points. Second half, Young stays hot. You'll see two layups coming up from the senior guard, but Creighton played a real nice second half. The second of these two Young layups brought DePaul within 12, and then here's Tommy Hamilton bringing the Blue Demons within nine. They would get it down to six, but they fall just short of the Blue Jays, losing 81 to 62. Young again, a game high 24 points. Cleveland Melvin followed with 16. Here's Brandon Young and Oliver Purnell after the game. Uh, just me being more aggressive. My teammates believing in me and still trusting in me, but you know, I can score as many points. You know, that doesn't matter if we still uh, wind up losing, but you know, we just got to go back to the drawing board and, uh, you know, fix a uh, couple tweaks that we have. But we're going to get better, I believe, and I have faith. I uh, certainly don't want to take anything away from uh, Creighton. Uh, they're a really good ball club. Uh, their style was really tough, tough for us to match up with. I thought we were doing a pretty good job uh, early in the first half of uh, switching out and, and making it hard on <clears throat> uh, McDermott. Uh, we actually did a pretty good job on him force him into a low percentage shooting uh, and those kinds of things. But, it, you know, when you pay that much attention to him, uh, it really opens up things for their three-point shooters, which is the second biggest strength of their team. You know, McDermott first and then their ability to space the court and knock down the three. Uh, the thing that hurt us the most in the first half as well as in the second half were turnovers. We turned it over ten times in the first half. And uh, when you squander those kinds of opportunities against a potent offensive team, it uh, has a tendency to catch up with you. I thought we played with them and maybe even a little better than them in the first half. But you take throw away ten, you know, ten, excuse me, ten opportunities to to score, and it hurts you. And I think once again in the second half, we had three timely turnovers. Once we you know cut into the lead and gave ourselves a chance in the second half. Um, I want to say Tommy turned over baseline. Charles shot a turnover out of the corner, and we turned it over once, at least once more. To and you just can't squander those. And then they go to um, McDermott in the post. We wanted to you know, score it a couple of times. We wanted to take him away, and then we just didn't get back out to the three-point shooters, who are really, really good.